friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking all about the Dollar Tree candlestick holders and how you can use those little dollar twenty-five pieces to create some gorgeous decor for your home. Also later on in the video I want to tell you about an incredible product that I've recently discovered that has been life-changing for me. I love it. More on that later but let's go ahead and get on into the projects. Okay, so I had a really fun idea whenever I was holding these candlesticks. I kind of stared at them a few minutes and was thinking about what I could do with them. And I thought it'd be really cool to turn these into like a rustic wooden spool. Now, I thought they already kind of had the shape of them, but I wanted larger tops like you actually see, like the vintage wooden spools. And sometimes like Walmart puts these out at Christmas time with like ribbon on them, some small ones. So I thought it'd be fun to make some larger ones. They always have the hole in them to be real spools. So I did take my drill and just drill a hole as in the center as much as possible. And then I go ahead and attach these with some hot glue. Some of the hot glue did try to seep through the little hole but I went ahead and just cleaned that out. Now I did glue these to the candle holders upside down so all of the beveled like routed out parts are underneath and this is going to have the smooth flat top and then I go ahead remove the label and attach it to the bottom as well. For this set I ended up making like a neutral rustic set that I could put out in like my living area but I'm gonna get a new craft room at my new house I think it would be so fun to make like eight or nine ten of these and put them all in different colors and put some fun ribbon on there so this is definitely a project that I'll even try to make later on but to go ahead and give these just a neutral real wood look I go ahead and use some of my favorite truffle brown chalk paint give this a nice thick coat and then I'm gonna Gonna let this completely dry and then start to sand this down and this is what's going to give it more of a rustic look now you aren't able to really sand the candlestick holder itself in the center but nobody's going to see that you're going to be covering that up with some ribbon but this is where it gets really fun you can pick which ribbon that you like i once again i'm just keeping this neutral i love how it looks with this brown color that looks like real wood and then especially after i got it sanded and some of the raw wood like come through the edges it just had such a gorgeous finish to it and then wrapping around some burlap I stuck a real needle in there to hold it down in place and I just think it's really cute but definitely something that I want to make again make more colorful so you could definitely just paint this in different colors to fit more into your style These tall metal candlestick holders are one of my favorites that Dollar Tree puts out. So many ways you can use this. I actually just shared in a video of me like pulling the top off of one of these candlesticks and using it as a stand. I attached it to one of these round frames and I thought this turned out really, really cute. I, I just decorated it with a little chalk marker, but it turned out really good and works as a stand for lightweight pieces. But another fun way to make these over is to just paint them and dress them up a little bit. Now I, we are going into like spring and Easter so I wanted to give these some really fun different colors and add in a little bit of a natural element so I am painting these three different colors just in a pink teal and green color letting these completely dry putting in the candles and then adding some wooded beads And then after the paint dries to make the candle be able to stand up nice and straight and not be kind of wobbly in there, I add some hot glue. You also can take a lighter and melt the bottom of the candle so some of the wax melts down in there first and this will also help hold the candle up straight. But to make these little wood beaded details, I make some like mini bracelets just by tying some of the wooden garland, slide this down over the candle and it adds so much extra detail with just such a simple little embellishment. Before we go on into the next project, I want to say, take a second to tell you about this incredible product that I have been using and thank Bean Dream for sponsoring today's video. I am someone who struggles to fall asleep. No lie, something I've struggled with forever and this literally is changing the game for me. So I go lay down with my husband. He is out in like 10 to 15 minutes tops when the lights go out and there I am like tossing and turning 
I can never fall asleep. But I am excited to tell you that after finding out about Dream and use it about 30 minutes before bedtime, sometimes it doesn't even take 30 minutes, so I like to make it up as a little treat. It's super fun to drink at night and even add some little whipped topping on top and just enjoy it like a little cup of cocoa or something in the bed and it works for me. I can honestly say that it has been life changing to get to actually fall asleep and wake up feeling better of the mornings. So getting into a routine with Dream, I am able to prioritize my sleep, wake up feeling refreshed and not have that cloudy drowsiness whenever you take like anything else over the counter. Dream is a luxurious drink blend filled with high quality ingredients that is clinically shown to improve sleep. When you you don't get proper sleep you struggle with mood focus stress levels and breakouts or I do anyway and so finding a product that is going to improve all of these things for me was exactly what I was looking for I love that dream has high quality sleeping ingredients that leave me with zero grogginess and actually in a clinical study 93% of participants reported that dream helped them get not only a better night's sleep but able to wake up feeling refreshed so if you're interested in Beam, go click the link down below or go to shopbeam.com slash craftsbycaitlin and be sure to use code KBK for up to 35% off. This is a limited time deal, so you're gonna, gonna make sure that you go try it out for yourself. If you struggle with anything like that, falling asleep or staying asleep, a huge thank you to Beam Dream again for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get back on into crafting. So most of these solar lights come with sticks on the bottom that you have to like stick in the ground, but sometimes it's just fun to set little lanterns around outside, like on a side table or like a dining outdoor table. So a really fun idea is to pick up one of these glass candle holders. I go ahead and paint it the same color as the solar light that I'm using. I did swap out the solar light that I shared because um, it wasn't working. So I did have like the flickering light, but I switched it out for this one and I love it so much more. Just glued it down on there and it gets rid of the stake and you're able to just set this down on a little side table for extra lighting. Next up, another favorite are these little tea light ones. I was blown away whenever I saw these in the store. There are so many things that you can do with these. So I shared gluing them in the flowers before. You can use these as is because they're so cute and already put together. But another fun way just to elevate these a little bit more is to pick up some of the black tall like candle holders from Dollar Tree. Just glue these on top. Now the hot glue against metal and plastic, it's not going to be like forever long term hold. If you don't mess with them, they're going to stay there. But if you need to change them out or you want to try to use the on and off switch, you can easily pop these off and just glue them back in place. But for these, I just glued them on top of the candle holders and I used three different candlesticks so they were elevated a little bit different but these would be so gorgeous for like entertaining a like nighttime outdoor tablescape Okay, I wanted to share with you a really quick hack on how you can upgrade these candle holders. Now they're really good as is. You can paint these any color, but you can see they're a little bit plain and I knew I could make these look a lot prettier, especially with these candles that I have on hand. They're so gorgeous. So I want the base to be just as pretty. The key here is to grab a couple of jar lids. Now I wanted to, to kind of like make the effect that one of these is taller than the other. So I used two different size jar lids, just anything that I had on hand. I have a plastic clear one as well as like a metal one and then I just glue these down in place. Now you have to be a little bit careful because they don't fit flush against the candle holder. So make sure you're getting your glue around the rim. I like to put a, just a tiny dot on the back and I can peel that off later, but it just kind of holds it in place and lets it like dry or get cool off and hold in place and then paint these a black color. And I just love it. I feel like the size difference on the lids doesn't seem like a big deal, but you can see whenever these are completely finished and using two different size candles, you really get that big effect so it looks like they're more of a set of two but I really feel like this is upgraded compared to what they look like when I pulled them off the shelf 
I recently found these candle holders with a little hole at the top. So they will hold like a tall taper candle. And I also found these little swirly candles with like the lines down them. Now I think it is such a modern and classic look if you go ahead and just paint these a matte black spray paint. And I feel like it's just the perfect finish. Once again, you can tell that I'm adding more of those wood touches in all of these projects. I just love like that like natural element just bringing it my home. I feel like all these wood pieces are so fun to just add in the extra detail. So all I did was glue that to the top, put these candles in the top, and once again, just securing these with a little bit of hot glue. But I feel like these are gorgeous and these would be super pricey if you actually purchase them out of the store, but we made them for like two bucks. I was scared the Dollar Tree would quit selling these wooden boxes, but they keep bringing them back and I'm just here for it. I love using these in so many things. Another candle holder hack is to make like tiered trays or little riser boxes with them. I know we've glued them under plates for years and years, but this is a really fun take on using those wooden boxes, just taking a candlestick, turning it upside down, and then attaching the smaller one at the top. This makes the perfect planner box for upcoming spring season. You'll be able to put any floral pieces that you like in here. For me, I am I'm loving adding all of these succulents and everything but the only thing with using succulents is it takes a lot to fill it in so I love using greenery first and kind of filling in the backing before placing the individual little succulents in the front I am obsessed with these ones that hang down over the sides I've been putting them in like every planter that I've been making so I go ahead and attach those and just really fill it full so you're not able to see the styrofoam Thank you guys so much for checking out today's video. Let me know in the comments down below which project was your favorite. Don't forget if you have trouble falling asleep to check out Beam limited time offer. I'll have the link down below. Also use code KDK for up to 35% off. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Happy crafting. Bye.